Story time, ladies and gentlemen. Today I am going to be telling a story to answer some questions that I get a lot. And that story is about how I first got into Counter-Strike. I have covered this topic briefly in some videos. For instance, I think I spoke about it in my last Q&A, but I did not give it the full context. And that is what I'm gonna do now because I'm still getting a lot of questions about it. A lot of new people coming to the channel and so today we are going to go over the story of how your boy P first got into playing Counter-Strike. It all started a long time ago. Why am I doing this voice? To give you some context, I have been playing video games for a very, very long time. I'm 25 years old now, and I think I first played a video game when I was six or seven, definitely by the age of seven. And I've always had a wide sort of interest in gaming. Like I've played all different types of games like you see me doing on this channel, and I don't really have a favorite genre or anything like that. However, I do have sort of favorite series, favorite game titles, and one of those, a certain FPS, really caught my attention in 1999-2000-2001. And that game, everybody, you might know this already, was Half-Life 1. That is correct, Gordon Freeman, the man, G-Man, the science, the flipping aliens. Absolutely amazing title, I really, really Really enjoyed it and ever since I've really really enjoyed the Half-Life series and in 2004 Half-Life 2 was released. By that point I had played a lot of different games from lots of different genres, lots of so many different titles right including of course titles like Call of Duty, Medal of Honor series, Quake, Doom, you name it I probably played it. If you want leave any titles in the comment section I will try to reply if I've actually played those games or not FPS or whatever else you want to mention. Anyway, back to my point, Half-Life 2 comes out at the end of 2004. I played a bunch of different games, including FPS titles. I really enjoyed Half-Life 2. It's still one of my favorite games of all time to this day. And after I finished it, I was kind of like, cool, that was, that was great. And I mentioned it to a friend who also played the game. He said it was great too. And then he mentioned something to me pretty, pretty interesting. Something that I was not aware of was that when you get Half-Life 2, when, well, at the time when you got Half-Life 2, you got a certain game free with it. I had no idea about this, like I just didn't see it on the back of the box or whatever, and so I questioned my friend, I was like, what's this game? Like, tell me about it. And he told me it is a game called Counter-Strike Source. It's an FPS sort of competitive shooter. Given by that point, I played a lot... <sighs> Damn, see, the sunlight keeps changing, so I'm like now overexposed. I'm sorry, everybody. Okay, I've dropped my ISO down a bit. And given by that point that I had played a lot of games within that genre, I was very interested in trying this Counter-Strike thing out. My friend warned me that it was a difficult title. It was difficult to get your head around. Like, there were lots of different kind of rules that you need to follow in order to be, like, reasonably good at it. Basically, he told me that the learning curve is very, very steep. But once you kind of get to grips with some of it, it's one of the most rewarding games to play. And it's just a lot of fun. So, I installed it and I started playing and... I was absolutely terrible. Like, I was so, so bad at Counter-Strike when I first, I think like like anyone is when they first start playing Counter-Strike, you can't shoot whilst you're running. You can't do like a bunch of different things that would usually be habit in FPS titles. The recoil patterns, you can't just like hold down your trigger and shoot and be able to hit people. You've got to know like how to control all the guns, the movement. I don't remember much from my first time playing other than I found it really difficult, but there was something about it that kind of drew me in and, want, and, and made me want to play more. And over time, that's what I did. I, I started playing more and more, and then eventually, I don't know how, but I found out about the competitive scene, and I found out that people had been playing Counter-Strike and Counter-Strike Source for money. And this was really interesting, it was really exciting. And at the time, you've got to understand that Counter-Strike Source didn't have like match making like CSGO does now. You kind of had to organize that yourself. You'd go into these things called mix vents. At least in the UK, you would go into these things called mix vents and people would join random channels and then someone would set up a server and you'd play kind of like a pug. And that is how at the time I would play in a competitive rule set. It was a lot of fun and that's kind of it really. I just kept playing, played on and off for a few years, not to any significant level, just kind of like those mixes and pugs. And that is pretty much it. That's how I got into playing 
Counter-Strike. It's not like a crazy story with some sort of mad twist or anything, but I do know a lot of you have wanted to hear this story in a bit more detail and I keep getting asked about it and so it was time to tell it properly. If you would like the TLDR, I've played a lot of different type of games including FPS. Half-Life was one of my favourite series. Half-Life 2 was released and Counter-Strike Source came free with it. A friend told me about it because I wasn't aware and said that I should try and play it. I played it and it was super hard but I enjoyed it and kept playing. And that everybody is it. It is definitely pretty funny the way life can go because again if you told me at the time one day I would be making Counter-Strike videos as part of a YouTube channel that I have and going to these Counter-Strike events and stuff yeah, it, it, it would have been a crazy thing to hear at the time. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope I've answered your questions. Definitely let me know if you have any more, and maybe I will do another video like this another time. I will see you all in the next video. Much love and peace.